ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> welcome to Mountains Gaming, Ryan here, and uh, today we are starting a full play of Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Uh, funny story, I, I've already done this once today, I recorded an hour long video of the first three missions, three or so missions, got part one all done and dusted, and then um, managed to delete every video. So yeah doing this for the second time of day <laughs> so uh, I, I do know a little bit about the first couple of missions and certain things but uh, yeah basically we're just going to kick it off start a new game couldn't say progress do you want to start a new game yeah so I'm just deleting my game for you guys I'm going to start it again fresh <clears throat> do it on normal mode yeah pretty, pretty shit feeling Don't I know you, sir? Don't believe so. I haven't been here in many years. Name's Silas Greaves. Silas Greaves? The bounty hunter? Used to be. Ah, well, what are you doing here in Abilene? Just passing through. Got a little business to take care of. Well, sir, it would be an honor if you would allow me to buy you a beer. Hell, son, it would be my honor to drink it. I'm Molly. Howdy. Nice tits. Uh, I'm Dwight. That's Jack and, and Steve. Ben's behind the bar. Oh, I bet you got some great stories. A couple. <laughs> Any of them true? Jack, be nice. A few. What about your shootout with Henry Plummer's gang in Bannock, Montana? I is that where you started as a bounty hunter? That's what it says in this here dime novel. Don't believe everything you read in them dime novels, boy. First man I hunted was back when I was riding with Billy the Kid. You knew Billy the Kid? Damn right. That scrawny son of a bitch had no fear. Wouldn't back down for nobody. I heard he collected the tin stars off any crooked lawmen who crossed him. It was a war, boy. The Lincoln County War. And Billy promised his regulators would take the life of every bastard who helped bushwhack John Tunstall. Kid had a big chip on his shoulder and a hair trigger temper. Made him dangerous as hell. It was about 30 years ago. Billy was hiding out in an abandoned farm near Stinking Springs. I threw in with the kid because the man I had sworn vengeance on was riding with Billy's enemies. But before I tell you why I want that some bitch dead, let me tell you what happened that day. I was heading back to the hideout when suddenly I had this funny feeling. Funny, beautiful, uh -huh. beautiful looking guy. No, Steve, the other kind of funny. Seems I've already got two skill points there. I don't think I should have those, possibly because I restarted the game. It's uh, give me a couple of skill points. You need to stay here and keep an eye on the road. That's not fair. We're missing all the fun. I knew those two morons would never let me through. I had no choice. What the hell? Shoot that some bitch! Was it Pat Garrett? Like a ball. Oh yeah. I heard the shots and I knew I had to move fast. Garrett and his army of deputies had surrounded the entire homestead. I decided to help Billy and the boys out a bit. So that's just what I did. As the governor of New Mexico was playing for the kids' apprehension, Garrett was able to hire every gun hand in Lincoln County. Boom, fucking headshot, 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 headshot. Headshots for fun. Oh, 
know, I think it's your time to die. You're dead. Who said that? I knew that going through that front door meant putting my butt in a shooting gallery. So I decided to get sneaky. Get sneaky, motherfucker. Garrett's men were Never running around like a bunch of chickens with their heads they cut off. These son bitches running. You think you can kill me too? I'll take it. Still, one of them reached the water tower. Not a bad idea. It would be a turkey shoot from up there. Oh, yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Luckily, these shooters Garrett hired weren't the sharpest tools in the shed. Huh. The right position is very important. Personally, I prefer to be on top. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> Bad boy. Indeed, darling. But where was I? Oh, yeah. A lot of them were saddle tramps or sod busters or drunken drifters looking to make a few bucks. How many times do you have to shoot a man in the ass before he die? Quite a few. Oh. Oh. Stop moving. Bitch. Did that last guy. Sorry. You're <sighs> oh, I fell. <laughs> the difference between this gun is maybe fighting on half or I don't know. Missed. Seems a little bit more powerful. If I ever fucking hit anyone with it. Then, I heard a friendly voice yelling at me from the window. Back door! We got we'll cover you! Drop aim and you get in! Truth be told, things weren't much better behind the house. I cut their numbers in half, but that just made the ones that were left twice as mad. Oh, my. Made up for their lack of skill with a seemingly endless supply of ammo. No range on this pistol, right? Piece of shit. God it was damn. a bit of a slog, but I finally fought my way around the back of the house. Get the other pistol back if I can. There we go. And like that, you I was inside. Dead, None the worse for wear. I passed Dirty Dave. It's having a dirty day. Deadier than a red and upstairs, I found Billy and Charlie Baldry. Yeah, before you go through here, I'm going to show you the uh, show you the skill tree. Basically, you've got Gunslinger, which is like your sort of pistols, heavily based on pistols. Oh, yeah. So you got like uh, a Kimbo, quicker, easier, faster reload, stuff like that. And you got your uh, range. Which is uh iron sights sorry, iron sights slow down time slightly, which makes it a lot easier to um you know, get a good aim before you take a shot. Uh truth seeking that tells you where the nuggets are. I don't necessarily want that one but I like this additional zoom in whilst aiming, so I'm gonna grab that one as well. It means it zooms in a touch when you aim down sight. And then uh, you work your way towards getting uh, upgraded guns as well. This one's got rifle and pistol, that one's got pistol and pistol, this one's got shotgun and sonar shotgun. But uh yeah, I might grab a few wheels when I get my next one. How about that? But that's basically hey, you like that? the gist of it. I'm 
the last tree, sorry, was uh, close quarters. Badass Billy the Kid. Billy looked at me and said, About time, amigo! Grab a gun and get to the window! Wait, so you were friends with Billy the Kid? Yeah, sort of. Anyway, we were surrounded by dozens of deputized shooters who wanted to do us harm. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on coming. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Oh, what the fuck? That. Oh, really to improve my shooting a little bit here. That's when Charlie got hit. Charlie? Not Charlie. We're catching us in a crossfire, shouted Billy. Get to the other side. Good. See where I've been shot, bro. I don't know how many of those cocksuckers I personally put down, but it was pretty clear, even to Billy, that maybe discretion was the better part of valor. What's that mean? It means that it was time to cut and run. They got a Catlin, Billy shouted. Get the horses and bring them round back. I'll draw their attention. You directed that order at me. And I thought, why the hell do I have to do it? Uh, I went anyway. Dumbass that I was back then. Those poor sons of bitches are done for! Many would have fled in my place. But I had that false sense of invincibility that many young men have. Like Jack here. What are you saying, old man? Jack, he's just joshing with you. Yeah, he better be. Mr. He better Green's be. Please continue. Please, call me Silas, ma'am. Now, uh, where was I? You were heading for the barn. Right. Making my way past a castle of fallen foes. Stand a chance, man. Sounds like Garrett hired a whole regiment of hired guns. Oh, yeah, and just when I thought I was done with them, more of these hapless bastards would pop up. Oh, double kill. Double kill like a motherfucker. Finally, I had the stables within my reach. After the fight, maybe we could treat ourselves to some fried chicken. <laughs> Soft skills. Boom. And that's when I met Sheriff Pat Garrett. I read that you oh, yeah. went toe to toe with him, sir. Damn that strike. backstabbing mm. bastard with that tacked on tin star. Damn straight, boy. Damn straight. Ham handed Pat Garrett. You challenged him to a showdown. You read that in a dime novel? It said he showed no fear as he took your measure with eyes like a rattlesnake. 
like a motherfucking rattlesnake. Okay, so you gotta hover your cursor over the enemy. And it, moves, it tries to move about, but you gotta like control it with the mouse, and that zooms in. That's your focus. See, like he's moving about now, so you gotta try and follow him. Last up, come back here. So when he goes for his gun, you click to draw, aim, and then click again to fire. Man, that you killed him in a fair fight. <laughs> Is that what that Penny Dreadful said? No, boy. That ain't what I meant when I said I met Pat Garrett. So let me start again. I finally reached those damn stables. Goddamn chicken. I hate chicken. Oh, quick upgrade. Do any of these any good? Every fourth enemy bullet shot from a short weapon will bounce off you. Ooh! JK. Is it faster reload? Is that the faster reload? Yes, faster reload. And the endly six year. Which makes my six year all golden and pretty. Apparently makes a crater aim as well. Try and have some chickens. Reload, tap bar really quick, throw some bullets in like a badass. Okay, let's go. Think I'm not Step fuck inside, out. and <laughs> last thing I heard was Garrett's voice. That's not Billy. And go on. How did it end? And boy, that was just the beginning. So that's mission one anyway. Pretty sweet. So what happened? Did Garrett arrest you? Yeah. After I came to, the bastard had clocked me with his colt. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Sentenced me to hang right along with the kid. It's important to know that I was only riding with Billy so I could find the bastard I was after. Let's take a seat. Remind he was with John Kinney's while. gang, and they were sworn enemies of Billy's regulators. Why were you after him? I owed that son of a bitch a bullet for what he had done to me and mine. Instead, all I got for myself was a goddamn death sentence. Luckily, it was right around then that I heard Billy make his move. He shot Jim Bell and a few other guards as he made his getaway. Later, they wrote that some lady friend planted a pistol for him in the privy. What the papers didn't say is that Billy helped me escape too. Thanks, Billy. My oh, first order of business was finding a firearm. That'll Luckily, do. I located Deputy Bob Ollinger's mean-ass shotgun. Damn, that's a mean-ass shotgun. Does look pretty beast. I love the little animation there as well. That's so cool. I saw Billy through the window, and he yelled that I should take to the rooftops to make my escape. So I did. Anybody see Billy? Hell yeah! That scatter gun was like a double-barreled howitzer. It could blow a man clear off his feet. You hardly had to aim to take. The kids escaped raised a huge ruckus. Bam, bam, bam. Guards were everywhere looking for him. Can't let the kid get away. Oh my God. Anybody see 
Anybody see him? I had to jump from roof to roof like a damn alley cat. I followed the planks where I could, but... Some of that wood was slippery as hell. The whole town was up in arms. And suddenly, I was a fugitive. How the hell did this game? Now it's gonna kick our ass! Can't have got far! So that bastard you were after, what did he do? He did me and my family a grievous harm. But I knew if I was ever going to find him, I would need to get my ever-loving ass out of there. I tried to be stealthy and sneak my way past. This town doesn't have a moment's peace. You! But hell if they weren't all waiting for me. Yeah, fuck it. Apparently some of them thought I was Billy. You hooligans can go to hell! shared a certain similarity in build and color. I was just glad I had Deputy Bob's mean-ass shotgun. They're shooting in the street! I'm here! Get your heads down! There's children here. We're gonna be in deep shit! So much lead was whizzing by my head, it was like everyone in Lincoln wanted to put me in the ground. I knew I needed to find a horse. Though I never did have a great fondness for those four-legged grass eaters. Smelly, sweaty, ungrateful beasts. We prize them too high, if you ask me. Doesn't like horses. You're threatening the lives of innocent people. Oh, so is your mother. So what you think guys? It's a pretty sweet game, yeah. That But where was the kid while you were busy getting shot at? Gone. And that's when it occurred to me why Billy set me free. <laughs> Yeah, so I could be a hapless decoy and draw attention while he snuck out of town. Drop something up there. Can't get it though. Oh, hello, bad boy. <laughs> I knew if I made it out of there in one piece, no one would put a price on my head. Because everybody in Lincoln would be dead? <sighs> no. Because they all thought I was Billy. And all that blame would fall on him. Meanwhile, Deputy Bob Ollinger was organizing a posse to put me down. He was already a mean son of a bitch, but he was doubly pissed that I stole his mean-ass shotgun. Anyway, it was me or them, and the only way forward led me straight to perdition. But the cards were dealt, and I had no choice but to play them. Any more for any more? 
found what I was looking for. The stables on the edge of town. Save your ass, taking out Bob Ollinger the way he did. Billy didn't kill Bob. Well, sure he did. He dispatched him right after he shot Deputy Bell. No, sir. Because Bob came right up behind me, angry as hell that Billy had lit out. Hello, Bob. I said, I think you better let me go. And he says, I don't think so, boy. Not with my shotgun. So we stood there in the middle of the street. Eyeball to eyeball. He intended to kill me, and I knew I had no choice but to defend myself. So now I can move my hand as well, left and right, to place it over the pistol, as well as moving the focus thing to make everything a little bit faster. So there's two things you got to control now, because the hand will drift away from the pistol naturally. During the focus time. I killed him in a fair fight. Everybody saw I had no damn choice. Well, Lincoln got a mite depopulated that day. <laughs> that Garrett gunned down Billy three months later. So his escape was all for naught anyway. Unlucky son. So where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. The, the cow most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clanton himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! there! I did my best to help those four passengers. Moments later, the attackers were dead. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. None. It was then I wondered if the rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They well, attacked from on high like Apaches off and dead. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemy's head. <laughs> making use of the high ground and whatever else they had. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to them. Hold on, were you attacked by Apaches? W what happened to the Cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's Cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming no. enemy force. See, at the time, I was still pretty green, and would often blunder into regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. 
I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the Cowboys. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to find my way past these other assholes first. Unfortunately, I was running out of ammo. Another perfect example of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. A hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less impressive without the bullets to back it up. Finally, they managed to corner me. Trapped as I was, the odds of my survival seemed pretty slim. Luckily, serendipity was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. The cave just appeared out of nowhere. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. No I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. Run, bitch. As I was scurrying around those caves, I thought, what was I thinking? Going up against a gang like this. I just kept running, not knowing where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven, I found the desiccated remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Matt Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good, and he would know. Yeah, baby. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that ammo. That stroke of good fortune even the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become a predator. Time for the hunted to become the hunter. Time. All right, Jesus, we get it. Been right where you wanted us. That's right, Jack. I was done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Oh yeah, motherfucker. Bang. I yelled out at the top of my lungs, Planton, I'm coming for you! A little oh. stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a Gatling gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Kill Ringo. I needed to get that old man off that gun. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon, but it was just <gasps> me. Motherfucker. 
four bullets left. Scheiße. You think I don't see? Oh! Where did you get that? Try to shoot the shit out One of the cowboys made it out of there alive and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the old K Corral. Yes, it did, boys and girls. Yes, it did. A few weeks after that dust-up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. Pick your targets faster. Your speed of aiming any weapon will be increased by 30%. Sweet. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. Still not that much faster, eh? So, what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. Curly Bill took charge of the Cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. No way, that was a kill. Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed what up, the fuck? that's who they thought I was. It's not going well. Well, it is going well, but... Bastards. Any rifle ammo for me and we'll do. There were killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. <laughs> That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what drove me forward. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Earp wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday might have taken him. That Lunger should have kept his nose out of it. He never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Of course. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzzsaws as big as a man. Oh. Ah. He 
Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son take over the Cowboys? Because I, Clanton, was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. <laughs> I've heard that shit. We got an upgrade now. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire cowboy gang single handed. Indeed, I was, Jack. as those boys had good cover. everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. Make some headshots to increase your focus. For each headshot delivered, you receive 50% more concentration than normal. Enemies even beyond your field of view, gene concentration marks. Yeah. Split and dynamite mid-air. Through them, rear fire by tapping G, you'll be able to split the dynamite mid-air. <laughs> Deal some headshots without aiming. Press and hold Q. Will eat up all your concentration next to you and drop more nearby enemies with execution. Perfect headshot. I don't really want any of those, but I really want a silver, uh, I really want a golden rifle. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait my way, wait my way to it. Regardless. Oh, we're going this way. <laughs> And where was Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly... Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, <laughs> finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. Oh, I should've got the armor for this bit, actually. Right, so. Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Badass Curly Bill. Saying they ran. Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bell's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me on the open. This one's going a lot better than last time. I'm just keep close. 
No, stay there. There you go. Oh, come on, one more shot. Yes. Brocious gave me no choice but to take his life. But Ringo was nowhere to be found. Whew, that went a lot smoother than last time, I tell you. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. It took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. <laughs> we know who the killer is now, motherfuckers. Oh, I'm calling for motherfuckers all the time. It's really not on my nature. Take over and take a bullet. Johnny Ringo. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. It's really hard to keep them both right at the same time. Oh! Got my ass shot dead. You know where it is? I was so busy looking at that stupid reticle that I didn't even realize he was ready to draw. Right, it's listen for the heartbeat. incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Listen for the heartbeat. That's when he's getting ready to draw. I like to do it the old school, proper way. In the heart, got that Sorry, I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. No, he did not. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, motherfuckers, for the second time today, I'm gonna call that. I'm going to call that a day on episode one. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a bloody good time making it. I really am enjoying this game. It's fucking awesome. Uh, like I say, I love westerns. Do you know what I mean? Awesome films. I love all the guns, all the scenery and that. All the accents, sexy voices. I love it. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Can't wait to get back into this full play, you know? So uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed episode one. Please come back and join me for episode two, which will be up tomorrow, if not the next day. But I promise it'll be soon. See you later, guys.